Hello out there YouTubers. This is about the hardest drill hole that I've ever drilled in my life. And it's taken me a long time and I thought well I'm sure there's a million other people out there know how to do it better than me because I'm not a machinist. I'm kind of a backyard hack. But I needed to drill this hole for the sawmill thing that I'm making and I'll show you that in a, in a minute or two. Here's the drill bit that I'm using. Okay for you guys that do micrometer stuff, I'll see if I can see in here. Uh, it's it's 620, 620, or you guys that want to use this one. This this is a pretty nice little little gauge. This one here um, does it in uh, inches. All right, I don't know if that's focusing in or okay, because one eighth inches here, so it's sixteenth of an inch. This drill bit is only one and seven eighths inch long. And if you're looking down here, I need to come up to about here, which is, it's going to leave it sticking out about a quarter of an inch. Now this, this chuck, this chuck here is right good size. I don't know what size it is. It's a number 18 in. It wouldn't hold this. A long time ago I had a problem with smaller drill bits so I took the shaft out of a uh, drill and you and put that in there but this bit's so small it won't even it won't even grab in that so whether that's good or bad I don't know I, I, it, it lines it up so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of pushing it in hitting it a little bit bringing it out cleaning the chips off of it I'm into it about an inch now so I'll show you what I'm doing and you guys will probably There'll be some out there say you should do this, you should do that, and you should do this. And you... I'll tell you what, I, I don't know. It's getting done, and I don't know of another way of doing it, but I'm sure there is, is other ways of doing it. So I'm going to turn on the lathe and just start hacking at it, hack -a -matic. So I'll, I'll let you guys watch it for a little bit and see what I'm doing. Uh, I just kind of going up till I feel it and then pushing it a little bit and it's going ever so little and then you got to bring it out and clean the clean the stuff off of it and now I got a little clean the chips and back in you can see the drill bit turning there Every now and then I can get it this way and push it a little bit further. I'm hoping I'm not going to bust the drill bit. Now see, it's tightening up, so I know I got to get out of there. That's really actually this thing's kind of acting like a clutch, so I don't really want to break that drill bit off in there. So it's it might be just as well I'm doing it this way because as soon as that drill bit gets chip bound, then it spins on this pair of pliers. So. And that's how I'm, you can see the chips coming. I guess you guys can see those chips. They're pretty small. Clean it all off. Run it back in. I only got another inch to go. And there got chip bound. So this is actually probably working pretty good as, as uh, a clutch. So I don't break the drill bit. But this is without a doubt the hardest hardest hole I've ever drilled. I was going to uh, use my fingers with this so I could hold the pressure and slide it in and out of this one, but then this one here was so small that it wouldn't even grab into that chuck. You can feel it get chip bound. This is a hole for my string line that I'm going to run on that sawmill. And, uh, oh man. I 
I don't know when does when does a sixteenth of an inch drill bit become dull? I can't even feel it feeding now. It might it might become dull. But if it's still bringing chips out, which it is, can't be too dull. Put a little squirt on there. Without a doubt, the hardest hole I've ever drilled. And I got I got one more to drill too. I got one more of these step downs to make. Look at all the chips in there. So it's it's still drilling. And boy, it ain't a fast process. Sometimes it hits soft spots and sometimes it hits hard spots. Look at it. It's still pulling chips. So it must be sharp. I got these drill bits from a place called Travers, I believe is the name of it. I ordered them yesterday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And here they got in my, my place by 4 today. That's got to be the best best shipping. They, if you need some machine machine stuff, I bought a whole bunch of stuff. I bought a, a height gauge also to try to work on this uh, mill. Look at that, it's going fast that time there, just locked up. But then it was moving, it was moving pretty fast. Don't know how far I'm in there yet. But I know it, it's got to keep going. And then it's going to get really slow. Because to pull it out is going to be uh, a major nightmare. Got a lot of chips there. It's pretty dry. Probably works better dry than it does wet. Got chip bound. So that is without a doubt the hardest drill hole I've ever drilled. Let me. I'm gonna turn this off. Oh, man, I got a whole 30 seconds of an inch down the hole that time. Some things just don't go fast. All right, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to show you where that thing goes. Uh, i got to take it out of the stand. Oh, my leg. You always talk, hear me talking about the leg. I've got it a little bit better there. I guess I gotta zoom back. This is it, uh, you can't it doesn't show clear in the screen, but I keep going in, going in, and then backing it back out. This keeps it aligned. I hope that'll work. It's gonna be about the best I can do. The problem was oh I forgot to bring the part in. These are I think I think it's in the other room. We're gonna walk in the other room. Oh, here it is. I'm a mess. Remember these these beasts here? Well, these pieces here will go. If I can hang it off, hang it off the edge just a bit. I got three of these. One for one end. One for the other end. I've milled a flat in them. I don't know if you can see that flat in there. I milled a flat in there. And that's where it's going to go in here. Um, I haven't taken them out yet. I'm thinking I'm going to mark a V so I know where the, the top is. And then this is going to be the floating one. Where it's going to be, they go in here. Okay, and it's what you'll be able to do. Is you'll be able to run the string through every one of them. And then you'll be able to turn this. And if that spring goes up into here, you'll be able to see what direction and how far it has to go to get it, get it aligned. So that's... That's my plan. So there's going to be a string. If you can imagine this on the mill, this one here will be 30 foot at one end and this will be 30 foot in the other direction or a total of 30 foot. 
um, or 15 and 15, whatever you, however you want to put it. Anyhow, and then the string, the pieces that I'm making now is going in this half inch hole here. The reason I just didn't think I was going to get a sixteenth of an inch hole all the way through all that. I just didn't see myself doing that. And it, and if I, if I get a sixteenth of an inch hole in there, it's going to be, it'll be good enough. Because um, that, that shaft can have some slop in it. It's just got to be closer than what it was. So this is what I'm making. That's, that's what I'm going to do. So this will go from, this will be able to go slip the cord here. Even though it looks big, this cord here. Uh, this is 30, I guess, zero, 30 thousandths of an inch. This is, I don't know, 30 thousandths of an inch slice in there. You can see it goes all the way through. So I can put the string in and go in each one of those. Whoops. I can put that in and go in each one of those and, and figure out where the timing mark is to see how far the string comes up. So that's what I'm working on. So I'm going to keep drilling away over here. I hope to get one of these made tonight. Maybe I'll get... Maybe I'll get both of them made tonight. I'm not sure. Um, I've been working quite a while on this hole, and uh, you just you just never know. Things just don't go as fast as you want. I'm gonna probably it comes up to here, so I'll probably cut this back like this is cut back to here, and then knurl. I'm thinking about knurling that. Um, never done that before, but it doesn't make any difference. I might give it a try. So. That's it for this movie. I'll, I'll probably throw this one on. Uh, I don't know. Today is Friday. Friday night. I just got rained out outside. I just did the sawmill and then the cut up and then got rain and came in and ate and starting to work on this. So that's where I'm at. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye.